Hi, so I'm basically going to be looking at the Word Builder plugin, which is a plugin by East West Studios that allows you to put in any word that you want and make a choir sound audio realistic. So basically, any word you want, it will sing it for you. So the environment I was just sharing with you on the screen was that of Carmina Burana, and basically what I have done is I've taken a four-part choir, sopranos, altos, tenors and bass, and I've put in some lyrics copied and pasted for Carmina Burana. But to make it sound more authentic, more phonetically authentic, I've changed some of the words to make it sound like the actual Latin so for example o fortuna velut luna so one of the questions that I get asked mainly is how come my choir does does not sound authentic why do not the, why do the words not sound like as I want them to definitely check out what you are doing with your actual word input okay so I'm gonna play you this phrase and you're gonna see it in a minute how it sounds so you're basically gonna hear um So really, depending on how you play, then that also dictates the kind of sound you're going to have. Some of the plosives are different lengths, you hear there's a slight delay when changing some of the phrases. So the second thing I would advise you to do is once you've checked what you've typed in to your word builder environment, then why don't you check out certain particular words. So you'll see when you click on each word, you'll then be able to see that every letter of those words, so t of two, and then you can change it and then you can then cycle through each of these and it'll give you the different sounds. So there's the N and there's the A. So you put it to the beginning of each word. So F for the for, then the O, then the R. And as you can see like the F and the O, the F and the O just overlap each other. So the second thing I would suggest is if you're getting a real weird clash or that's too strong um, a plosive at the beginning, just dragging these lengths of these different letters these phonemes of these sounds will allow you to sort out any kind of crossover and really hit those words properly on here. So you can see with tuna, the t is really strong and it's overlapping this. So we want to be able to just leave the t and go straight on to the u, which is obviously two o's, right? Like that. Okay, so it gives you an idea of that's improved that as well. So again, you can do this line by line. Again, same idea, ve lut luna. So you can then go and just change the lengths of each of these different plosives, make it sound like it's more authentic. And that is the second way of improving your word builder creations on here as well. What we'll do is we'll select everything now on the screen and just double click those choirs. And what we'll do is we'll just go back and you can see that there are some parts that don't quite end right at the same time that we would like them to. So the idea is you would then just drag all, all these parts here and just drag it back so that you've got a nice gap. Now in real life when performing this, as I did when I was a, a young child, um, that would be quite smooth, but the way it works in this particular environment, if I play that from the beginning... It, I would go through all the different parts, because of course I only went through the soprano before, out with this video and you'll see the end result when you watch this video to the end. Okay, so the idea being is then that using this word builder plugin allows you to put in your own different words. This could be English, this could be German, Latin, and the idea behind it is you can create really good rich sounding choirs. You can see the tenor line is here. <laughs> So do you hear with some of those words, there's a little bit of a delay to the actual word being sung. So the t and the s seem to be two major, major players when you're looking at trying to get yourself some really good sounds. So I would go into where there is an S. So for example, perhaps down here where it says sta, an overlap with the S. And of course the S and the T together cause real problems when dealing with this. So just drag these, edit those quite nicely. Then you would do that with all of these parts. So you'd basically go through, Star and the same idea again. Review that, double click, and it will then reset. Now, 
Now, I also wanted to talk about some of the instrumentation because I lifted this from a very, very old, really old MIDI file, um, probably done in the late 90s. It was missing a lot of parts, and of course, I don't have the score for this, and so I, a lot of this was done by ear. Let's have a nice little review of how this sounds now. Now I don't know about you, but I think that sounds okay, but it sounds a little bit shortened in some of these phrases, so I'm just gonna experiment with those phrases, just bring them out a little bit, not just having a very brief break between them. So I'll show you what I mean. Yes. can play around with this and those hints and tips I gave you before so changing around with that but also not only that but changing what the lengths are in the actual word builder plugin seems to be the biggest biggest issues that I get questions on all the time. If you aren't aware then there's a massive word builder plugin that I have done covering all sorts of examples, techniques, sound libraries on my YouTube channel so please again don't hesitate to like and subscribe over on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be doing some word builder tutorials um, the end of this month and early in May as well. It does come with some stock phrases as well so if you think well I want to try some new ones you just click on phrases and you've got tons of Latin, Spanish, English and German. It Italian and even one specifically for specific libraries as well and you can actually just change that so you've actually got one here O Fortuna Velut Luna you've actually got some of these lines already used in there for you to be able to try and muck around with as well so let's see what that would sound like so So you can do this for fairly any choir. You can take a choral work, you can, f and if it's one that's well known, for example, if it has lyrics that you can find online and copy and paste into Word Builder, you can then separate up the different plosives of each sound, and then it should sound really, really good. So let's have a listen to how this new one basically matches up. Have a listen to this here when I start on the build up section. So, if I just show you.
you can hear how some parts are worked on and sound quite good and you can hear how other parts just need a little bit more work so remember those three ways look at the length of the actual piano roll look at the actual words you've written could they be changed to sound a little bit better and then finally changing the length of each of the plosives each of the sounds of every word in the phrases that you use as well do those tips improve your choral work and you will always have a good and realistic sounding choir thanks very much for watching today and i will see you in the next one sometime sometime soon bye with switcher studio you can use all of your existing ios devices and cast your computer screen all in one production create professional slick live streams and record and edit video with just one tap create amazing overlays lower thirds sound clips titles and even import existing video to your stream and trigger them from the comfort of your hands edit and display multi-view panels for up to nine ios devices whilst you stream and automate the switching of these to give you hands-free control of your productions invited before friends anywhere in the world to join your live stream and have them in your production as if they were in the same room stream in crisp 1080p and have studio quality sound i've used the app to make all of the youtube videos on my channel so i absolutely love it and i know that you will too so if you fancy giving switcher studio a try then why don't you use the links below use the code un30 and then go to the link bit.ly slash get switcher studio to be able to have a free 30 day trial so go on have a go i've also got free tips and training over at my group mobile live streaming success on facebook It'd be great to see you there